सरस सामदान बेद दंड चतुर 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 just heard some fantastic carnatic classical music by some of the younger generation from uh, of course you guessed it right chennai and uh, thanks very much uh, uh, rithvik uh, rajesh and pravin for uh, talking to us in india thank you thank you it's our pleasure thank you thanks thank for you. having us it, it was amazing i mean um, i have been to a fair few uh, concerts but seeing three of you right. below the age of 30 uh, i would guess 25 <laughs> 25 yeah. there you go uh, performing like this on the stage is uh, something very unique we, we haven't seen it uh, for a, a long time uh, how did this passion start was it in your family um well my mom is actually a carnatic musician too and uh, she's also a choral music instructor so my learning of the indian classical art form was actually very very informal it was basically at home where she used to have students so i just used to sing along with them and that's how i learned right. my actual first love was cricket i used to love to play cricket but beyond a point i don't know what clicked in me something told me that i should pursue music more seriously because i had a four month break from cricket and those four months all i did was music so then i made up my mind saying okay this is what i want to do but i think none of us learned music to actually be here on stage to perform fantastic actually i was uh, uh, involved in a fundraising function for the same uh, temple okay. some time back and when i approached some of the people for uh, sponsorship they said uh, you are really uh, why are you supporting a dying art that's what he called carnatic music and uh, looking at you i see very bright future for carnatic music is this a trend that you see younger generation getting involved more and more with carnatic uh, music because australia is so far away from chennai you get to see just the three of us but if you actually come to chennai you will probably see five other people like me 10 other people like them all of them singing and playing the same way and uh, there are so many youngsters who are taking up to the art form there are so many people who are learning today and just in chennai during the december season you will find at least 200 300 different youngsters names who are just singing concerts during the december season so more than calling this a trend i think like how certain things pick up with time and sort of you know like the circle of life i think i think it sort of come back to classical music and indian classical music and people are now again taking notice of what has been there for years now so i think it's so if you honestly ask me i would say just by the sheer number we are possibly in the golden era of carnatic music right now mm-hmm. but that's just about it right but uh, some of the people of course even if you look at the audience here it looks that it caters to only a particular uh, you know community in india most of the people who listen to and also as i see in some of the concerts here come from southern part of india and also belong to a particular caste or religion uh, that who appreciate uh, music how can you make it a uh, bit more uh, sort of user friendly and spread this carnatic music amongst the other Uh, communities as well uh, uh, just to give you you are a uh, cricket lover how how can we invent a 2020 of carnatic music okay so if you honestly ask me i would say that the diversity in audience is possibly lacking here because of the number of concerts that happen you possibly get one or two concerts a month so more often than not if you bring new people here and make them sit here they might not be able to understand what exactly is going on so i think the first thing that a person picks up on when they are introduced to a new art form or a new genre of music is that their understanding of it and their enjoyability of it the problem is um there aren't as many workshops or as many um programs that initiate these people and give them a basic flavor as to what they are going to be listening to so that they can actually listen to this music as uh, without any inhibitions as they would listen to some other form of music the thing uh, yeah. the thing is that uh, i have seen some of the Uh, well known like for example hari haran when he came here he was talking about fusion music as right. as a way of uh, once again giving the analogy of a 2020 of okay. uh, music uh, it attracts more people it is uh, fusion music uh, appeals to for example the western audience and right. so on and so forth uh, what's your opinion in my honest humble opinion i think that analogy or that take 
is completely absurd in my personal opinion because because if let's say there's a very popular form of music and there's just one separate country that has no clue of that music so would you completely change the outlook and flavor of that music so that those people start listening to it no but what you try and do is you give them the actual pure form and hope that they will pick up on it sometime or find out them. absolutely and find out ways by which they can actually listen to proper carnatic music and i know so many people who have, who have tried this route and who have started liking carnatic music with the guitars and everything else and when you actually ask them to listen to a concert like this without any frills the actual art form they don't necessarily think it's the same thing because the sounding of that is completely different from the sound of a proper classical concert with a vocal a violin and a voice so for you to be able to sing carnatic songs and have like a keyboard or a guitar or a drums or something else that's layering on top of that is is not carnatic music as at all what you're basically doing is you're singing a carnatic song with a completely western orchestra or like a western rhythm or something like that. and uh, i was just sitting here just a few months back i had the opportunity of sitting and enjoying the uh, concert of tm krishna you look okay. like the younger tm krishna is it something that you have modeled not at all not at all i am who i am he is who he is i'm i'm just very thankful to have learned from him for so many years and i have got his undivided undivided attention for so many years especially from 2003 to 2009 i think for those 6 years he uh, none of the other students who were there today were actually in madras all through the year so i think that gave me an opportunity to learn a lot from him travel with him go to all concerts with him and talk for endless hours with him about music and learn a lot and pick his brain whenever he had the time so whatever my music is is completely because of him and my previous two other teachers and whatever i sing and whatever i've learned is all what he's given me and what he continues to give me so for that i'm really thankful to him thank you so much and, uh, i'm uh, absolutely Uh, you know over the moon seeing you. somebody at your age uh, bring the audience to virtual standstill and uh, singing this i do understand a little bit of carnatic music because my mother used to teach me uh, teach uh, her students i used to sit and listen so uh, that's how i understood a little bit of music and congratulations thank and you. Uh, thank you so much have a nice stay in sydney <laughs> Yeah.